When your streets and your crosswalks get new stripes, you probably think it's a fresh coat of paint. But here at the City of Arlington, we found something that works better. And here's City Manager Trey Yelverton to introduce us to the crews that are doing that work. Thanks, Jay. Today I'm out in Arlington neighborhoods, and today I'm joined by Shabani Alkirk, one of our crew leaders in our streets department, to talk a little bit about how we handle uh, street striping and maintenance. So, uh, number one, thanks for everything you guys are doing. But uh, talk to me a little bit about how we approach the streets, because in my mind, we're out there occasionally just, you know, painting and striping, but that's not exactly how it works. No, it, it, it works. It's like a preform. Okay. And the way it works, we come up to an intersection and we grind the old, the old material up. We sweep it up, put it in our trash cans, and then we blow it off with our blower. And then we lay it back out with our chain and paint, and then we lay out the preform and burn, burn it in with our blowtorch. So this may be a way oversimplified, but is it kind of like a big iron-on in a way that you're just putting the, the heat, the heat on down it. on the pavement and it sticks to the pavement? Yes, sir, with the blowtorch. Okay, and so why do we choose this approach as opposed to just painting street, painting the street stripe? Uh, the preform lasts longer than the paint will. You know, the preform it lasts up to five years, and if you paint it, it will last maybe like a year or so. How many intersections do we have for our maintenance? All together, yeah, I think it's uh, about 300 and something wow. as much. So what are some of the biggest challenges for you guys, your crews, when you're, when you're installing this material? Traffic. Traffic. <laughs> All right, Trey, this is an example of the, the preform material that we use. And um, if you look at it here, you see like a glass bead. Right. And that is like the reflective, like when the lights hit it at night, right. it will reflect back to the car light to where you can see it or okay. see where to stop. It's, uh, it's it. thicker than I would have thought that it is. I mean, that's maybe an eighth of an inch or so? Yes, about, yeah, about an eighth. Well, I've always found it um, interesting to watch this material go down and I always sometimes get frustrated when we have contractors that do paint and the paint's a little crooked. Right. And so here we get to make it exactly how we want it. Right. And that is something else with this material you can, it's a, it's a square. Yep. Which helps it to look uniform. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what we can do. Okay. All right. Let's do it. We'll take a torch and just run over this like this. Kind of dry it Ooh. up. A it helps dry it up a little. <laughs> That's warm. Okay, okay, so now we're gonna lay some pieces. Yeah, we're gonna get to take the preform, lay it out. Oh, I see. Okay. We'll take the next, the next one. And then just, as long as you match them up. When they're even and they're on the chain mark, it'll be straight. That should be good. That's good. Kind of like, uh, kind of like brownies. Yeah. You gotta <laughs> let them get bubbly on top, and then you know they're good. Yeah. <laughs> well, Shabani, on behalf of our residents, I want to thank you and all your team for the good work you're doing on Arlington streets every day. Keep our pedestrians and our cars as safe as possible. And uh, we hope you all stay as safe as possible out there, too. After seeing some of this work, I see how close these cars come whizzing by. And just want to thank you for all your good work on behalf of our residents. Appreciate it. So, appreciate thank you guys. Thank you. All righty. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thanks, Trey, and thanks to you at home for watching. Tune in next time for another On the Clock.